Hi there. Here's some acupressure points for symptoms you might be feeling in the lower pelvic bowl. Um, so I'm thinking about interstitial cystitis and other similar kinds of symptoms. So we're going to start. When you're doing hand reflexology, let your hands have a little warm-up, just a little light massage. Just bring a little energy to the area and enlivening it. And we're going to start. All these points are on both hands. We're going to start with a point that is an acupuncture point. It's called pericardium 8. It's um, uh, the solar plexus in many reflexology systems. We're going to be using this um, near this point, kidney, adrenal, we're going to start there. We're going to work our way down to the bladder area. So bring your finger, your middle finger, down to your palm and you find that point right in the center of your palm. And just come slightly lower than that. And we're going to start there. You're right in the middle. And gentle circles some pressure, not a lot, but you want to work the area with some intention. And you're going to work your way down towards your wrist. Keep going in a straight line. You're working your way down from the kidneys and the adrenals down to the bladder area. And we come to a point here called pericardium 7. And we want to go just a little bit beyond that. You can also glide. Now I'm showing this with my hand upright so you can see it. If you're working in your lap, you can hold your hands. You can use your thumb to kind of glide down there. Let your hands rest in your lap, on a pillow, uh, anywhere that's comfortable. So be comfortable while you're doing this. Keep the tension out of your hands as much as you can. You notice I'm using my thumb to brace. If I want to use my thumb here, which is not easy to do in this position, I use my fingers to brace on the other side. So that covers the urinary system kind of top to bottom. So this is an important area. Spend a little time with it. If you find a spot that's particularly sensitive, go easy with it, but spend a little time there. See if you can get it to release to be less sensitive. And this may take a few times. Don't worry. We can also go to where the thumb meets the hand. You want to go up on the web side. So right in here. And you want to work your way around this mound from the thumb web down to the wrist. This is another area that's associated with the kidneys and the bladder. You can glide. You can use a point press. I'm bracing on the back side of my hand with my thumb. Find a spot, a little bit of pressure, a nice little massage, little circles all the way down. Work with intention. You can glide. Work with the level of pressure that feels good to you. Some days it may be more or less than others. And over here, so on the little finger side of the hand, right above the wrist, 
you want to kind of pinch this area, front and back. This is the hip and pelvis area. And you'll, you'll notice this right here is a very strong muscle. So that's good to get in there and work it. I'm using my knuckle to get a little more pressure. You can try using it between your two knuckles. If your thumb's getting a little sore, don't overdo it. Figure out how you can use your hands. So again, to recap, from the center of the palm down to the wrist, from the thumb web circling around to the wrist, and at the side on the little pinky edge of the palm. Finish off a nice little balancing of the energy. Do the other side, and that's it.